What up, bitches? I'm Tana Mojo. A storyteller, YouTuber, influencer. Holy f Damn, it's so dope. Defining my life is kind of difficult. Overall, emotionally, business-wise, everything, I've grown up like 10 years in this last year, and I'm very grateful for that. Last season, you watched me with my best friends and roommates, Amari and Ashley. Right there. Do you see it? Please put your away. I'm so I'm putting it away. I'm Amari, so you and I are close, but not that close. I'm a little nauseous. I don't know if it's from the coffee or the new baby. Oh my god, yeah, you need to take Plan B. How are you guys this irresponsible? And of course, my manager, Jordan. No! You're honest, Jim! Like, what the fuck? That was very responsible. Good for you. It was a crazy summer. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> Not only did I turn 21, this is my birthday! I got married to fellow YouTuber Jake Paul. I love you, Jake Paul. And I'm excited to marry you today. I love you. That speech might be longer than the marriage. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Santa Mojo. I've been living my life in the public eye since I was 15 years old. And now as my career's leveling up, it's getting harder and harder to separate my public from my personal life. Something has got to give. <coughs> Why is this also killing me? Yo, I'm never gonna stop smoking. You're having a problem with a cough. <laughs> it's a matter of time before Jake does something that's like gonna upset me. You still treated me like you psycho asshole. Holy Are you like thinking about ending things with Jake? I constantly feel like being like thrown in my way. I'm just so tired mentally, physically, emotionally. Yeah. I want you to be perfect. I know. <laughs> so be perfect. I just wish I could step out of my life right now. Stay tuned, it gets messy. Make sure, it, make sure it's still tight. Yo, me to my, oh! me doing Kegels after getting railed. <laughs> I've never heard that come out of anyone's mouth before. Yo, I still need to use a lot of this stuff, though, too, for actual packaging. We can repurpose it. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. We can take it right off Amari and then still use it for your stuff. Jordan has been working out of my pool house for what feels like an eternity. And now he's moving to a bigger office space here in LA. I love how we're supposed to be, like, helping you pack, but instead, this is what we're doing. Why do you have to do it at all? Because it just sounds so fun. We're kids. <laughs> Dad, we're your kids. Yeah. <laughs> None of them have asked me why I'm moving. I love my job. I love being their manager. I just don't love being their, their babysitter and everything else. So what happens if like... <laughs> and so I think this will create some form of professionalism. <laughs> you need a photo in that for your Instagram. How are you gonna sit? That's how it feels to sit in gowns at award shows. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna actually help you pack. I feel like Tana's probably super sad that Jordan's moving out of the office. I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here. There is. Because I know like, even like seeing Jordan literally brightens like her whole day, her whole week, her whole month sometimes. Um, I feel like glass things, yeah. you are gonna have to wrap in stuff or in the moving process, they're gonna break. But a lot of the glass things you have here, like this candle per se, could just be like thrown away versus the effort of like. Yeah, no, just throw it away, I don't care. Why are you even packing anything if everything looks like? Okay, yeah, so should we even pack anything? Should we just throw everything away? No, just pack pack, pack everything that you can that's okay. not like Okay, that's where do I uh, Get a box Okay. Why am I filling boxes right now with like stale dog treats and like glitter? Like just throw it away, like just start over. Why don't we have like a yard sale? I'm down to have like a fun yard sale. Like making money like normal people, like not influencers. <laughs> Your house is actually getting gross. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna make upstairs there. really cute. I need to do that. Honestly, if you do it, I'll just sell a lot of the like little stuff in here too. That's actually oh, fire. I'm already packed. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please pop all of him? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's see if we can all get on him. Let's see if we all can yeah. step on him. Ooh, my heels can pop Really? Up. That's my ass. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I keep going in your ass.
<laughs> so let me present to you what I've got going on here. So first, yard sale, you know, because we're having a yard having sale. It. Venmo friendly. And That's then so funny that he only glitter, glittered the YSL. I put the glitter on the YSL to remind them that yes, we're having a, a yard sale, oh, but we are still in fact rich. <laughs> It's a luxury yard sale. It's a luxury yard sale. Oh, this looks cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep getting crafty. That looks really smart. I'm an art hoe. Hey, bitches! Ah! Oh, hey, hey bitches! What are you doing? We're having a yard sale. Jordan's moving out of the office. We need to clear out some things for the house. Amari's writing his Venmo. Oh, yeah. It's Venmo friendly. And then free on all purchases of $30 or more. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me a poster boat, I'm doing 40. Trevor Moran was my first real friend in Los Angeles and in the YouTube space. And Trevor does not live with me. However, it kind of feels like it. Trevor's always at my house. Trevor, I've literally been listening to your new single though, like every, every, every second. Uh, oh yeah, that bangs. Yeah, I'm like, wait, I actually wanna listen to it right now. I'm, like, should I just play, should I play for you guys? Tired of the drinking, tired oh my God, it's so fire. Drinking, Have you heard this? I've always looked at Trevor as just like a pop star, an entertainer. <laughs> Trevor walks into a room and everybody turns their head. I feel like he's one of the few YouTubers in the space that people do actually take seriously as a musician. I like actually relate to that song. The, the lyric that I'm obsessed with is hiding is a habit. Yeah. Cause I just think that's so fire. I wrote that song about my ear and my coping mechanisms with yeah. everything that happens It's here. crazy writing songs that like actually make you like really, really feel something. Like, I know. I've been working on a song. Not you, I'm not a pop star yet, <laughs> but like I think I, it's like I'm, I'm on like a staircase, like getting better, which is fire. Okay, so you're like singing. I started making music as kind of a joke. Fuck on your bitch like I'm Hefner. I take 10% like I rep her. No fake in my tits, but I'll check her. You're bitching me brain like her neck hurts. Yeah. I didn't think I realized that that many people would listen to it. And I was like, damn, if this many people are gonna listen to this I should probably make some other music and try to get better. I'm like, I'm just so excited because I feel like it's like, your help on it could make it like really good. Really? I'll give you my input. Tana hasn't really made that many songs, and I like to think of my relationship with Tana as very blunt and honest. If I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you I don't like it. I really want to bring you to the studio with Mod too. I don't know, I just think you would enjoy it. Yes, take me to the studio. Okay, fire. Trevor can sing without any sort of auto-tune. He can sing without music. He sings like a god. Tana, uh, it's different. Everyone can sing, and some people shouldn't. I wanna go home. This album's gonna be so good! I met Maude through Tana when they were in some three-way relationship with Bella Thorne. I don't really know. That is their business. I vibe with him so well, and I think it's so awesome that Tana introduced me to him. Oh! Six hours late. <laughs> Who the f is that? Hello, friend. Wow. You're early for Tana time. Honestly, for Tana time, I'm hitting the right The sun's now. out. I love seeing you in like these kind of environments. Oh, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. <coughs> if anybody knows <laughs> Me and Mod are like. Kind of want a mask? Like, what do we call 911? I'm so uncontagious, though, I promise. I'm stressing out, I'm so nervous. I kind of want to play you like one second of the chorus. Okay. And you tell me what you think. Showing Trevor this like unfinished song right now, especially someone who eats, breathes, and sleeps music is terrifying. I know he will literally flat out look at me and be like, this sucks, if it sucks. Let's do it. I'm scared though, it's still like, I know. It's not on the final master. Know, He's I, just doing okay, it now. Okay, okay. I'm nervous. Oh my God, I'm so scared. The eyes closed, I'm so nervous.
did not, hold up. I did not expect that from you. She sounded incredible. You, that chorus hits. Screaming and angry. The bitch had emotion. You can't beat that. This is definitely like showing growth as an artist. And it's like, Thank you. it's awesome. I'm like, oh, you with it, really? So like, look, you know the one part that we have okay. to do? The t in, two, t the last line of it. Okay. Can Thank you sing today or no? I can't sing this year. Watch me try to do that right now. I can't get out without you. Like that. Are you kidding? What happened? Uh, Why? What my lungs happened? are just like failing me right now. Like, Your lungs? Yeah. Like, well, that's not like good. Stop. Yeah, no, 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 I know. Tuberculosis. Why don't you stop so smoking weed? Honestly, I'm a addict and it sucks. Like it's just like trying to like fit that into life is like been difficult. I'm sure we all can relate on that one. Like, cleaning up isn't lame, you know what I'm saying? It's not lame. I don't know if you know this, but I recently made the conscious decision to go sober. I just had a really, really year, and I don't know really, I don't really know how to deal with things on my own, so I just started drinking so much. You're just stuck in this, in this hole by yourself, and it's really dark. And I feel like I've really seen Trevor struggle in a lot of ways behind closed doors over the past year. There's no way, guys, it's like 7.30 in the morning. Trevor, stop, please. <laughs> there was a while with Trevor where I was kind of going to sleep at night, like praying that he wouldn't die, which is really dark to say. So to see him thriving, getting better, becoming more sober, he is like glowing. And it's a really beautiful thing to see. Right now, I need to focus on myself, my craft, my music, my artistry, and have a clear head. How old are you, Trevor? 21. You're so young to, to, to be able to, to see, like, the things that you can fix about yourself. Thanks, friend. Then you got to take care of yourself. Yes. You keep taking care of yourself. You make sure that she takes care of yourself. Yeah. We're kind of worried about you, too. Yeah. I know. Seriously. <laughs> you are literally such a motivational speaker. You give me advice from my I'm serious. You're a singer now. And Adele has never smoked I promise you. I promise you. And yeah, I'm gonna compare you to her right now because that's what we're, sh we're shooting we're for. We're shooting for the We're shooting for the stars. Stars. Oh, yeah. okay. If we miss, we'll land on like a tree. Or like, <laughs> Shoot for Adele. If you miss, land on Fergie. <laughs> <laughs> Holy That is <laughs> That is <laughs> 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 Honk if you're horny! <laughs> yeah! We're out here on the street advertising our yard sale. Woo! I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly how to give the people what they want and attract them to our house. We're hot. Free <laughs> on all purchases of $30 or more. Is this like prostitution? If yours is prostitution, mine is definitely Ours prostitution. really just looks like we're trying to get This is a good shop. I think we're gonna make a lot of sales today. You think so? Yeah, look at this. Who doesn't want a bed skirt? Um, this is the world's um, most offensive yard sale, I think. I brought an electric wine opener. As of now, I won't be needing it. There is already something in there. <laughs> Did you just catch that? If I was a customer at this yard sale, I would leave almost immediately upon entering. I also brought an Amazon Alexa that I don't ever use. Good. Well, now no one can now use it either. No one. Half off, everybody. <laughs> I honestly will I'll be surprised no, if we right. have one sale. Where's your stuff for the yard sale? Yo, honestly, I ended up just throwing all my stuff out from the office. Wasn't the entire premise of this yard sale to be selling items from Jordan's office? And now we just have a table with bras and boxers. Well, um, here's your here's your money bag, man. Why don't you do money bags? I don't want to do money bags. I'll be here. All right, I'll do it. What are you doing? I'll be here. Check it out, it's Hannah if YouTube didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
Wait, what the f are you doing? She's getting REM. Whose underwear is Underwear. That's mine. That's mine. Actually? Yeah. <laughs> you I thought, brought your underwear? We, I didn't want it anymore, so I thought it would sell. I feel like Jordan did not do his part. He brought his underwear. You can't just sell underwear. I think. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, we have customers! Welcome to my yard sale. Ten. Okay. Ten dollars? Yeah! Oh, we we have our first sale! sale. Oh! I've been to a yard sale maybe once or twice, and normally the people that are selling this are like sitting down, relaxing. This is a full-blown car dealership. Twenty dollars? This is five dollars. This is five dollars. Come on, you're practically stealing from us at this point. This is $400 because I used to wear it. We got more customers! Oh my god! Oh. Hello! Hey, Bill. <laughs> more and more customers start arriving. They did a phenomenal job advertising. How are all these people coming? Welcome to my yard sale. You can actually buy this service. <laughs> I got $15. <coughs> That's more than enough. <laughs> Trevor could absolutely be a fire, high-class stripper in another life, OK? He is slaying. This lap dance. Oh, oh yeah, it. put it in my. Oh my god, put it in. Yeah. Make that ass clap. Look, I may be a sober ass bitch right now. Yeah! But the party never stops. Thank you so much. She's like, bye, I'm suing. <laughs> 154, 155, 160. Wow. No Wait, like, give me your ass. <laughs> hey. Oh, good, more of this. <laughs> Oh, uh, how'd we do? That's happening. <laughs> That's disgusting. Ew. No one here has ever eaten a dollar bill like one time. Like just me. Okay. <laughs> that dollar has been so many places. Yo, how come when I came to you guys, I was like, I ate no one bad an eye? I'm sure like whoever's ass was cleaner than that dollar bill. I don't know. Mm -mm. That is so gross. I can never get over that. I'm proud of you guys. This is really big stuff. <laughs> Thanks, man. We're proud of you, too, for your new office. All my stuff is out of there, though. Like, it's completely empty. Damn, That's I'm so sad. happy. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks that you're leaving, but I'm really excited for this space. Honestly, the second you move into that office, you're dead to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Our group of friends typically gets off on like dark humor and being like rude to each other all the time. So I think it's a lot harder for us to get across our point of like sadness and appreciation for Jordan just because of how we are as a group. Oh my God! Here, you get the little one. Jordan, I'm really happy that you're moving to a new office. I'm excited for you. I met you when you were working at a company that sucked horse <laughs> and I counted down the days for you to leave. And, you know, I took you in like a charity case into my pool house. Are you okay today? I think Tana's loopy and, and really, really tired. <laughs> but at the same time, I think she might be hiding the fact that she's a little sad I'm leaving. Or I, I like to tell myself that. Who knows? What is this? We got you a gift. Everybody really came together and made you something for your desk. Wow, that's actually really nice. It says Jordan Morona, world's best manager. And then I got you one. But you know, I want to go above and beyond. I got a wooden one. I want mm -hmm. it to be a lot heavier. This is actually solid gold. Right. Um, and then I personally engraved this as well. Personally? Yeah. Thank you. That's really awesome. I'm serious. <laughs> I really like it. What does it say? World's best manager. It says Jordan Morona, world's worst manager. Oh. 
I thought they both said best until just now. No, 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 no. Tana said the, the worst manager. Honestly, I thought it was really sweet. I mean, it's just showing that there's balance in life. You can be the best manager or the worst manager, and apparently, I'm both. Fair enough, guys. Thank you so much for the gifts. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it's because we love you more than anything. We'd all be dead without you. All jokes aside, it is slightly bittersweet, though. It does feel like the end of an era in a way that Jordan is moving out of the pool house. But at the same time, it is so dope to see him bossing up like this. So I'm excited for this new chapter. I also got you this bottle of water <laughs> and this dollar bill and this TV remote. Now if you could just get the f out. <laughs> On the next episode of MTV's No Filter. Hi, you have to be ready in five minutes. Oh my God. Also, <laughs> hi wife. Mixing business and a personal relationship is just so complicated. I'm gonna set you up on a blind date. You're not gonna tell me who it is before the date? Blind date. Riley Reed is the world's biggest adult film star. It's like a car accident. We wanna look away, but we can't.